So I've got my new graphics card installed, as you can see. It's lovely. Um, but what's not lovely is the white color. And in this card, this is a um, an AMD 480 RX. What did I buy? Yeah, that sounds right. The box is around here somewhere. Anyway, it's a graphics card. But um, when I was reading some of the reviews, one of the, the complaints was that this is a bright white color and you can't change it. And so I have a clutch for this. And it doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. You can go online and there are companies that make what are called films for cinematography. Um, it's for theater. And, um, and what they are is they're little films that come in all the different colors. This one is by Apollo and this one's by Lee, Lee Filters. Lee is uh, probably more popular from what I could gather. They have more colors. And so these little films, they come in all different colors and different opacities, but You can't really see it with the light on. Let me turn the light off. All right. So this is bright white, all right? Here's it with a filter. My camera doesn't really get it good. I'm going to put a darker color filter on. Maybe the camera will capture it better. Damn, my camera sucks. It really does change the color a lot. I don't know why you can't see it. It completely fixes it. Might have to put some photos in here. So what I'm going to do, although you can't really see it, is um, I'm going to trim one of these little filters to fit perfectly in front of this. You can kind of see how it changes the brightness of it. You can't really see the color change. In person with with a better camera, you'd be able to see that this is a completely different color. It's not just darkening a little bit. I'm sure it has something to do with the lens and the camera. That one, you can kind of see it turned it a little blue. So this is probably just a limitation of my webcam. It's really blue in person. I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to take it out of the take one out of the package. I'm probably going to have to take it apart anyway. And uh, I'm just going to cut it exactly the right size. That's an interesting way they've got that on there. Oh, I see. It's a screw. It's a giant screw. I'm going to cut one of these and I'm going to make it exactly fit over that and I'm going to stick it on there somehow. I got to figure out what I'm going to use as an adhesive because I don't want it to be like glued on. I'm kind of hoping for like a little electrostatic cling sort of deal, but uh, I think it'll work. And if I do it right, you won't even be able to tell it's there. You can kind of see with the light on how much of a color that is, the, the color. The color that it actually looks here on, you know, here's the, that's actually the color that it looks, what, that I'm looking at. It's just the camera isn't, isn't picking up. So I'm just going to put one of these filters over it. Any color, any color in the rainbow. It comes in literally every color you could ever possibly want. There you go. There's your clutch. Problem solved.